Welcome to a special series of the Gear Obsession channel. This series is Retro Tech Obsessions and this is episode number one. So what we'll be looking at today is a old Texas Instruments calculator, the TI-2500 version 2. I came across this while I was in Ohio visiting a friend. Uh, we went ahead and we're checking out some garage sales and this was in somebody's garage being sold for $8. So if you haven't already guessed. This is a very, very old calculator from the mid 70s. You know, when I was a kid, I had a calculator made by a company called Bomar. Remember the Bomar brain for those of you who uh, remember that time? Believe it or not, this has almost everything in it. The only thing I don't have is the case. I can't remember if I had it and got rid of it or it didn't have it. I, I can't remember two years ago because I'm is old or older than this retro tech so I've got a retro too but look at this the instructions are um, almost flawless <laughs> and I always thought it'd be funny to get a hold of a very old manual like this and try to call the support number <laughs> Let's see who actually answers maybe we'll do that one day check this out you get a letter from Texas Instruments when you buy their products way back then. Ain't that a trip? They were really proud of their accomplishment. We have a notice that it says to charge up the batteries before use. This guy uh, came with some rechargeable nickel cadmium batteries but you could also use double A's in it. That was one of the differences between the uh, first edition or first version and the second version so you could just use ordinary AA batteries here is the power supply where you would have charged the calculator if it had the rechargeable batteries in it look that's the original charger there's the Texas Instruments logo let you take a look uh, output and voltage watts good stuff and then we have the calculator itself and if this had the case the case would have been underneath here somewhere this was manufactured be between 1974 and 1975 and it sold for $50 take a guess at how much a calculator with these functions would cost today you could probably just get it free or uh, five or ten bucks so it's pretty amazing um, how far technology has come in such a short time when considering how long man has been on earth pretty amazing look at this uh, color you, you know it used to be electronics back in the day all had this beige kind of color your computers were this color office equipment <laughs> it was the in thing for the office also, uh, some of the old people that might have had their first calculator might have called this an electronic slide rule because before you had calculators, you had a slide rule, which is sort of like a ruler with some pieces that slid up and down and little rulers inside the ruler. So things would sort of move like this and then you move a slidey thing kind of thing. Um, poor description of a slide rule. Um, you have your power switch right here. So you just click that on. Turn it off. Very simple. On the back you have some instructions. Let you take a look. If you want to freeze free, please feel free. We have an inspection sticker. Number here. Looks like a serial number right here. So this was number 1591. And there's a couple of AA batteries in here. You just unlock and take the cover off and pop the batteries and nothing to write home about. By the way, it came with the nickel cadmium batteries in it and you charged it up using the charger. 
and when it's fully charged it'll give you about four to six hours of run time on those nickel cadmium batteries I'm not sure how uh, long it'll run on alkaline batteries which is what I have in there now but uh, probably more than six hours so you have five functions you have uh, addition subtraction multiplication division and the percentage and you also have a clear and a clear entry button and then you have all your numbers and you have your equal and decimal and that's all you you get for your fifty dollars today if you were to buy one of these like you go on the ebay you could probably find one for about twenty five bucks um, in this condition which is near mint condition it's really impressive by the way I didn't show you where you plug in the power believe it or not you didn't have USBs back then. I don't know if they actually <laughs> had this to plug it in and charge. You don't want to do that while well, alkaline batteries are in here. So let's go ahead and turn it on and try it out. So we just turn that on and check that out. Yep, LED display. You have eight digits. And you sort of had to tip it forward to see it. So let's go ahead and do some simple addition. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so we can sort of see what's going on. So let's try 40 and the, the zero you got to press kind of hard on this. <laughs> Plus 2 equals 42 because 42 is the answer to life, universe, and everything. Let me clear that out. Nine times eight. Works pretty good. If you hit times and it already has the 72, it's like multiplying itself. I'll keep on show you what error looks like. There. I guess that's when it becomes too much. Again, you can clear it. Let's try a division. So 8 divided by 4 equals, that is correct. You know, back when these guys were here, sometimes they wouldn't even allow you to bring this to school because they would consider it cheating. You had to learn the math in your head because you're going to need it one day, like if you're working in a store. <laughs> and now today the, the cash registers do all the math for you. And it still takes some cashiers a long time to figure things out, amazingly. They, they have a hard time counting change. You're better just going with a credit card <laughs> and just letting the machine do it all. Look at that. Don't you love those old-fashioned digits? They actually had watches like this, too. One of the early watches was from a company called Pulsar. And you actually had these kind of digits. So it wouldn't be continuously lit. You'd have to hit a button and it would show the time in these exact LED digits. Really cool. I'll let you take a real close look at that. It is amazing that this is all working. So if you do eight, let me see, nine times eight, and you decide, oh, I don't want to do the eight, you could clear that entry and do seven, and then do equals. That's what that clear entry was and in the book they even sort of explain how to use a calculator which is funny they actually say you know this is how you would add numbers how you would subtract numbers you, you needed <laughs> it's an instruction book to uh, figure it out it's amazing Look at that. This is like almost brand new. Again, here's some other numbers. If you need assistance working your calculator, they have a toll free number you can call. And this was designed with state of the art uh, technology. MOS LSI integrated circuits constructed with quality components 
and it will provide years of reliable service and let me tell you that's a lot of years so I hope you you kind of like this format for you know just doing retro kind of stuff because I do have a lot of old stuff like at the beginning of this video I, I sort of thought it'd be cute to bring in an old camera and I actually found this at a, a local uh, store that sells some old restored not restore I think it's called the restore actually but you know they have all kinds of old stuff that they're reselling and one of the things that they had was this very old uh, 8 millimeter camera from I believe the mid 60s there's the name and maybe we'll do a video on this one uh, I'm sort of 50-50 on it because there's almost no information on this guy it is the uh, Chronica 8ET <laughs> and you look through the viewfinder you know and it actually has a meter inside it that actually works which is pretty amazing it's literally like a solar cell and it makes a meter go up and down and you have to wind this up using this guy and then you could um, look at this you pull the trigger <laughs> and you have three lenses that you could sort of like a turret Ain't that cute? It's amazing how far we've come. Now we have video cameras that are tiny or hell, even in our phones with our calculators. It, who who would have thought that you would have a device that could be both your calculator and your video camera? Can you imagine doing a selfie with this? This thing weighs a ton. So before we go ahead and end this, I wanted to show you what will probably be in my next retro series uh, video, video episode number two, whatever you want to call it. I am probably going to be doing this. This is the 35 millimeter manual SLR single lens reflex made by Pentax. It is the MX edition. Check that out. And you had to use film with this. You didn't get to see the results right away. Look, there's no screen on the back where you could see a picture. You have to put film in it. And then you have to roll that film back up and send it a way to get developed unless you had a dark room and you were like a really serious photographer but um anyway let me know what you think you know if you like this retro kind of thing where you look at some retro stuff i thought it'd be a, a good way to sort of ease my way in to start doing videos again plus uh, it's sort of my way of letting you know that i don't care that i'm not making ad sense with this i'm not in it for the money just to show try to demonstrate my sincerity you know to all this i just want to share uh tech whether it be new tech or old tech i just am a tech obsessed individual also i appreciate the extremely kind comments from my i'm not dead video that i shot and posted last week i really really appreciate it I didn't know that I had that many fans and from for for being off air for that long I figure a lot of you probably would have forgotten me by now I'm just an old fat guy on YouTube doing uh, reviews so it's not too terribly exciting and uh, it, it really was heartwarming to see so many kind comments and people who were sincerely worried about me and thought I died so I thought it was pretty cool and I'd like to thank everybody uh, very very much it has inspired me to really come back and and do videos again because I was sort of on the edge right now and that really motivated me to come back and I thought it'd be kind of cool to start with some retro stuff and we'll we'll get into some of the new stuff too i already bought a couple of things my own money and we'll go ahead and review them i don't think i'm going to be taking too much from companies anymore because i don't want it to be a job i want it to be fun 
So we'll we'll see how it goes, but we're gonna have more fun now. So thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day or evening. Take care. Bye.